Hello everyone, Allie here and welcome to the gold mine. Thank you so much for joining me here on another episode at Allie's Treasure Trove. Today I do have a new statue unboxing video and you guys have been wondering where he is at. And yes, look who finally showed up today. I'm talking about that Kurubukia Obelisk the Tormentor statue to finish off our trio of the Egyptian gods. So I've checked out Slifer here on the channel. I've checked out Raw. We'll go ahead and link one of the two of those up there. I don't know which one yet. But I have unboxed those on the channel before, but for some reason, Obelisk just did not arrive in a timely manner. So Obelisk is finally here, finally arrived, went to go pick him up actually this past Tuesday over at Anime Fix. So we'll go ahead and put their logo on screen, website link in the description down below, local anime store here in the Tampa Bay area. And very happy that Obelisk is finally here. Now, as opposed to the Slifer and the Raw, I assume that Obelisk will be a little easier to assemble Really don't know what would require assembly here. Of course, Raw has giant wings. Slifer, his little snake snake body, you know, required a lot of assembly and even a hair dryer uh, to get the pieces to fit together. So hopefully, no hair dryer required this time around. But I will say, as opposed to those two statues, the box size is the same, ridiculously large. But this is ridiculously heavy. Like I know Obelisk is quite bulky. He's a big guy, but like this is really heavy. So I'm gonna go set him back down. But yeah, so very excited to get on into Obelisk the Tormentor. My favorite Egyptian god is Ra. But Obelisk, obviously, I'm wearing the blue eye shirt here because I love Kaiba. You guys know I love Kaiba. We have the same birthday. We're meant to be blah, blah, blah. So very excited here to unbox Kaiba's Egyptian god. So let's just go ahead and get on into it. I was going to swap camera views, but I don't think I need to do that yet. Probably going to cut the box open and take everything out. So before we do that, let's take a look at the box itself. So here is the front obelisk, the Tormentor Egyptian God statue. Here is a better image of what he's going to look like out of the box. And then here on this side, he's shown from a slightly different angle than here. What I really like about the packaging is on each of the three boxes, each respective god is lit up so of course slifer of course his his little panel here was all lit up on his box raw the same so obelisk here in the middle looking real cool very excited to see what he looks like in person so i didn't show you guys the top but this is what the top of the box looks like and then here is the bottom of the box as well with all of its codes and whatnot it's not very interesting we don't need to look at that very long all right so let's go ahead and cut you on out of here cut these seals he is no longer mint in box he has been opened all right we have the instruction guide up top looks like we'll have to put obelisks like wing things on his back which i never really pay attention to like i vaguely know they're there but I don't really think of wings when I think of obelisk. And then it looks like we also can change his hands. So that's cool. We can have an outstretched hand as opposed to a fist. Ooh. So what I really liked about the other gods is they're actually their chins. Their mouths move. You could like make Slifer go ah or er. Uh. Same thing with Raw a little bit. So it doesn't look like obelisk has that feature, but you can change his hands. So that's pretty neat. All right. Let's, let's extract you. Oh, you are so heavy. Yeah, actually, just for curiosity's sake, I'm going to put him on the scale before we take him out of the box. How heavy are you actually? Good thing. My male scale is right here on the floor for my convenience when I'm at work. All right, let's uh, plop you on there, buddy. Obelisk is eight pounds and then 8.9 ounces. He's heavy. Like he's not crazy, but for, for what he is, he's quite heavy. Anyways, now I feel like a weakling. I feel like that's actually not that heavy. Anyways, back to extracting Obelisk. We could just pretend that didn't happen. 
But yeah, he is heavy for a statue, for a figure. The other two, they're large. They're the same size. Again, the box for all three have been the same size, which is unfortunate because, like, they're literally huge. I don't know where to put them. Uh, but this one here, so much heavier. I went to the gym, I could say I could skip arm day, because I just did arm day, but uh, you guys could tell when I stood up, I don't exercise. But all right. All right, obelisk. So. You can see his face there. He looks super cool. But all right, let's go ahead and extract all your parts, get you set up. I'm glad that obelisk finally came in, because I have been planning how I want to decorate for the holidays. I know some people are going to be like, Allie, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. What are you doing? And I'm like, look, I just want to enjoy holiday decor for as long as I can. Therefore, I should put it up early, as early as I can. Because, you know, I think of, you know, the winter season. You think, like, Christmas trees and I... I think like doing a theme tree. I picked my theme for this year for my annual tree decorating video for whichever little tree I'm going to put up there. But I've been trying to plan like what squishmallows I want to put out and things like that. And I'm like, man, I really want to redo this area. You know, move probably this old vintage magic, put it away. But, you know, Obelisk wasn't there to complete our little Yu-Gi-Oh display in the back. But now that can be completed at the same time since... Obelisk has finally decided to show up. So here is our stand base. It's the same black base like the others. Take that out. Here is the extra hands. There are these. I don't know what these are for just quite yet. We still have that instruction guide we can look at. Alrighty. So. Here's our instructions. Set that off to the side. All right, Obelisk, let's actually cut you out now rather than your extra accessories. Certainly hope this is not as difficult as the Slifer. I remember when I opened the Slifer here, that video took forever. I couldn't even complete it all in one take because I literally, the instructions said, if you're having a problem fitting together the pieces of his body, use a hair dryer to slightly warm it so that they can uh, squish together more easily. I'm like, what the heck? And yeah, I had to go home and be like, mom, you got a hair dryer? I need to take it to work. <laughs> but anyways, let me mute. It wasn't that bad, but uh, just so I don't have to do any editing and post, aside from throwing Anime Fix's logo on screen earlier, I uh, figured I'd go ahead and take care of that now that I actually have the stream deck hooked up a little bit. All I have it set up is for mute, but it works. All right, Obelisk, buddy, let's take a look at you. Looking tough, looking active, ready to go. Looking very Hulk-like, I will say. He's ready to Hulk smash. All righty. Obelisk the Tormentor. The only torment Obelisk was giving us was just, oh, when are you going to show up testing my patience? That was some tormenting going on. Alrighty. You are heavy. This man is heavy. This god is heavy. Oh my goodness. All right. He has butt cheeks. Obelisk has defined butt cheeks. I'm kind of impressed. All right, so he, he has, like I said, he reminds me very much. He's very hulky. My dad has, like, a Hulk Marvel Legends that you can make stand and, like, pose, and I feel like it poses like this. So it actually is just kind of humorous to look at. Like, he looks great. One thing I've been really enjoying about these Kotobukiya uh, Egyptian gods is just, even though I think they're PVC... I'd have to check the box, but whatever material they're made out of, they look very fancy. Like, the, the the texture looks great. Like, very impressive sculpts. 
Uh, I've been really enjoying them. Not sure if they're still available on the Kotobukiya website. I believe also you could have ordered them from the Sideshow website as a distributor for Kotobukiya. So there's a few places you could have ordered them in the U.S. I had mine imported from Japan. That's how I had those other ones early. And then... And then I'm just behind everybody else. I'm just behind because Obelisk didn't want to show up. Uh, so... I didn't look at those in the right direction. I almost turned this upside down. You guys saw that. You guys saw that. I thought they were on the other side for no reason. That literally doesn't make sense. All right. I have extracted everything. I think it is time for us to finally swap views. So, all right. We got his wings. Like I said, when I think obelisk, like I vaguely know they're there, but if you, if like I got quizzed on the street, be like, hey, you, you have a YouTube channel. Yeah, you, you played Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, you collect Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, you open Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yes. Does Obelisk have wings? I'd be like, no. It's like, I know they're there in the design. I just don't think of them as wings. I just think of them like as the stuff behind him. But he does. He's got wings that we have to put on. Oh, I will say this is interesting. This is, this feels soft. His extra hand feels soft. That's the thing is like, he feels kind of, not squishy, but like a nice soft even... Ow, well, that was pointy. That was pointy. All right, so he's pointy. He's got pointy edges. I remember the Slifer had like a danger warning. You might hurt yourself on all of his spikes. The uh, Obelisk here should have as well. But my goodness, you are so heavy. You are so heavy, but you look so cool. Look at him. <laughs> Who's cuter, me or Obelisk? Ah, oh, but this looks so cool. Oh, he looks great. He looks great. He looks great. So, um, I'm assuming this has to do with his slots on the back. I'm going to slide you over. And we're going to take a look at our instructions because these are not cheap. So, I'd prefer to not break anything within 15 minutes of opening the package. You know what I mean? You know probably a good call so so obelisk the tormentor egyptian god statue assembly instructions how to attach the parts oh okay so the uh, squares are actually they go in his feet then you put the left and right wings on and you can change his right hands and then you plop them on there and then he is complete the wrists and head are adjustable. Oh, yeah. So, look, his head poses. You can't see it because it's slightly out of frame. But you can also tilt his neck. So, you can't adjust his mouth like the others, but you can adjust his head positioning. Uh, so, if you want him to stab people with his chin on this side, you could do that. If you want him to do it on this side, you can have him do that. Not as wide of a range of motion as the other two Egyptian gods. Man, he looks super cool in person. I think I might have mentioned in the first uh, first unboxing, so that Slifer that's, you know, although, you know me, I love Kaiba. I think Obelisk is, like, the least interesting for me. Like, I just, I, I like his design the least. But honestly, having him in my hands, while I would still say Obelisk is my least favorite god, just in terms of design, he definitely looks cooler than I thought he would. Like, he definitely looks cool. Like, I definitely need all of them. There is no question in my mind that I was going to get all three when they were announced. But Obelisk to me, just, I don't know, like, he just, I feel like he looks too normal. Like, we have a giant chicken, and we have a sky snake, and then we have a, a blue hulk. Kind of basic. Yeah, I know, I'm hating on Obelisk. I'm hating on Obelisk. Allie gets canceled. All right, so now I closed the uh, instructions, but. I was like, do I put its open ends on top or closed end on top? I think this probably makes sense. This is what it looks like in the image. Then it says, <laughs> here it has the warning too. Please refer to these assembly instructions when assembling the products. The various parts are extremely sharp. It is recommended to wear hand protection such as working gloves when assembling. Yeah, I know that from when I stabbed myself on his arm shanks. Uh, he's uh, very pokey. 
The Rye was not very pokey. Slifer was very pokey. I remember I stabbed myself a few times trying to assemble the raw or the uh, slifer rather no i like it like it's one thing i really like about obelisk is like around his assorted body parts like he looks weathered like it looks like he's made out of like rock or something like i said i think it's just like pvc but it looks super cool so this is the arm that we can mess with but anyways let me go ahead and put his wings on do, 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 do. trying to avoid stabbing myself in the palm of my hands on his knees ooh, ooh. like i said he is pokey he is certainly pokey certainly pokey i'm glad that this shelf has a high weight limit that was rude that was very rude obelisk that was very rude that was very rude i was so happy for you to be here. And then I stabbed myself in the face on your shoulder and I'm going to blame you for it. Why would you, why would you have me do that? I can't believe you've done this. Can't believe you've done this. See, if I was good at editing, I could put that meme in there. Instead, I'll just make you guys hear it in your brain. Can't believe you've done this. Was that on your bingo card for 2022? Allie stabs herself in the face on a Yu-Gi-Oh statue. I will say, putting the wings on for Obelisk was much easier than putting Ra's wings on. Like, Ra was not nearly as difficult to assemble as Slifer. But I still had a little bit of difficulty with one of Ra's wings. So, all right. So, you're looking cool. You know, let's just get out of here. Like, I know that obelisk looks like this. It's just, I don't know, to me it doesn't seem like wings. It's like a built-in cape. <laughs> but it is wings. He looks so cool. He looks so cool. Like I said, I was kind of hating on obelisk back in the day. Well, he does, he's cool, he's cool. All right, so let's go ahead. Just because I want to see what it looks like, let's go ahead and remove your hands and put, put the claw Ooh, the claw. He's got pointy hands, he's got pointy fingers. All right. That was easy, too. Very easy to swap stuff out. No hair dryer required uh, for obelisk gear. All right. Let's uh, get you on that base. It's all about that base. Smack the microphone. Smack the microphone again for effect. All right. All righty. Seems like his feet are not as far apart naturally as they should be. A little sometimes you do have to stretch a little bit to get to the base to sit nice and flush so all right obelisk hold on to your legs boy there we go all right so now it really does look like he has like a lunging motion going on this is so heavy this is like ridiculous but i will say he looks really cool he looks really cool He looks super cool. Wow. I, you know, I feel like this is the first time I've ever actually sat here and appreciated Obelisk's design. So I am really, really happy with this. He looks great. He is very heavy, so I want to put him down. But I want you guys to be able to see him. Like, I am really impressed with how he looks. So I'm going to go ahead and give Obelisk a 10 out of 10. Very easy assembly. Every time I've stabbed myself, it's been my fault. So, like... Just be be careful. Be careful when you're look, I have this indent. Hold on, can you guys see the indent? <laughs> I'm not bleeding. I've I've actually 
You know, I was opening up, I was talking some smack, if you guys remember. Was it uh, the week prior where I was opening up the primal Dialga and primal Palkia? Uh, or the origin form, not the primal ones. Uh, origin form, Palkia and Dialga VMAX collection boxes from Pokemon. I actually straight up cut myself. And I was like, you know, oh, we gotta wrap up the video because I need to go get a band and I'm bleeding. Uh, but I'm, so I'm not actually bleeding this time, but yeah, no. Uh, I got some indents <laughs> in my hands. Ah, uh, operator error. But yes, definitely heed the warnings. Uh, be careful. Be careful. Very pointy. And also, you know, they're very pointy because they're skinny. So I'd imagine might not be too hard. You know, not only do you hurt yourself, but you might break your obelisk. So definitely be careful when assembling. But see, it was the easiest. It was the easiest. You just push and go. The hand popped off very easily. The the most time it took was me figuring out where what goes where and then spreading his feet a little bit so I can insert him on the stand. So yeah, overall this is this is great. What a great finish. I feel like it's just been getting better and better each time we open up one of these Egyptian gods. So yeah. Really, really like obelisk. Like I said, gonna go ahead and give an obelisk a 10 out of 10. Easy assembly. Be careful, though. He is very heavy. Like I said, be careful when handling him. I would also be careful if you're putting him on display. Make sure if you're using, like, a shelf as opposed to, like, uh, like a table or a nightstand or a bookshelf that's a bit thicker. If you have, like, a floating shelf, I would be a little nervous. Like I said, he's, like, almost nine pounds. He's, like, eight and a half, nine pounds. Eh. Yeah, much heavier, much heavier than the other two. I would imagine he is heavier than the other two combined. Because he is thick, solid, solid muscle. But no, Obelisk looks great. Very happy that he is finally here. Look who showed up. It's Obelisk. He's cool. He was taking his time because he knew that we were going to appreciate him regardless, no matter how long it took for him to get here. No matter how late obelisk is still really cool so very happy with this very happy that my collection is complete i don't know if kotobukiya has announced any new Yu-Gi-Oh statues to come i really like this series um i was gonna say i'd like it if they did the gx the uh the fake egyptian gods you know hamon uriah raviel which are just like bootleg slifer raw and obelisk and I'd be like, I'd like those. And I'm like, yeah, I'd like to get those. I don't know where I'd put them, though. So if they made something like that, I might have to pass on them just because, like, I can barely, barely keep up with what I have now. All the artworks, monsters, and whatnot. I have the, I have the Red Eyes Black Dragon on, or not Red I have the Red Eyes Black Dragon. I have the Black Rose Dragon. There we go. Black Rose Dragon. On pre-order, there was some sort of, like, Kaipa and Blue Eyes statue that I had ordered on Ami Ami. I think it was some sort of Amikuni exclusive. Uh, that shipped out. That was quite expensive. Shout out to the current exchange rate. So that shipped out. That hopefully will be here soon. I can check that out on the channel. I have the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon on pre-order as well from, uh, from Amakuni, I believe, is... Or, so, I don't know. Amakuni makes really great ones. Mega House through the, the Artworks Monsters line. Kotobuki has made awesome Yu-Gi-Oh. Kotobuki makes, like, the anime characters as well. You guys have seen me open up those 1-7 scales before here on the channel, but before you buy series in particular. Um, also, we've seen first four figures. Also, they've done Blue Eyes. They did Dark Magician, which I wasn't in love with, so I passed. I'm hearing they're going to do Red Eyes. I'm hearing they're going to do Dark Magician Girl. Thinking about doing Millennium Item Replicas as well. So there's a lot. There's a lot. So Yu-Gi-Oh fans, we are we are eating here in the, the 2020s. We are eating, definitely. Maybe eating a little bit too much. Because, you know, this, 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 you, guys, you guys can see, you know, the, the table starts about... Uh, my second rib, and he goes up to like almost my nose. Like it's, it's pretty, pretty large. So definitely a space concern rather than like a I don't like things, but more like. But yeah, I'm very happy I was able to complete this trio. If you guys have the room for it, if you guys have the cash for it, definitely something I'd recommend. It's great for Yu-Gi-Oh collectors, for fans of the original series. Uh, these these are amazing. Love all of them. Love Obelisk more than I thought I would. I don't know who my favorite is. I would say Raw is still my favorite, but like I said, Raw is just my favorite god card, so 
always been my, my favorites in the anime and everything. I always thought he was the coolest. So I think I'm still biased. I'd still say Raw is my favorites, but they all look great. They all look great. If you're an Obelisk fan, this is awesome. If you're a Slifer fan, the Slifer is awesome. Just keep a hairdryer at the ready. Uh, but I know not everyone's had that problem. Mine was particularly difficult, but I had some people message me and be like, Allie, guess what? I got one and it was easy. Get wrecked. Ha ha. I'm like, okay, Anthony. Okay. <laughs> but... <laughs> But yeah, so they're all super cool. Definitely would recommend them. Obelisk, like I said here, 10 out of 10. Love it. He's great. Even though I still have this indent in my hands. So, but yeah, with that, I think that's all I have to say here about Obelisk. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Now that we've completed the trio, let me know who is your favorite. Any comments below, thoughts on this Obelisk here in particular. He's got great shading great shading like he looks awesome he looks awesome he's also like we're we're color matching here too it looks good it's a good visual but yes definitely super super cool and i hope that you all enjoyed it so i'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on the kurobukiya Yu-Gi-Oh figures these these statues the scale figures of the characters what you would like to see from them going forward are you more of a fan of the amakuni stuff are you more of a fan of the mega house stuff first four figures is there another company making stuff that i'm just gonna lose my mind because i need those too let me know down below but yes i hope that you all enjoyed the video so make sure you go ahead and smack that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not yet part of the treasure trove family and yes like i said leave all your thoughts in the comments below but i think that does wrap off this video i have for you guys today because I just want to stare at him so I may as well just stare at him off camera because I have really nothing else to say so before I get on out of this video I do have to give an extra special shout out to all of my patrons over on patreon thank you so much you all for your above and beyond support I really truly do appreciate it we do have 11 gemstone miners and in bounty hunter breaks David Mount Jack Perez Keith Mira Mako Reese Sebastian Morency Shannon Hoon 74 Stephen Olivo and Stephen Bly and they also do have two crystal collectors, Anthony Ruiz. Anthony also rubbed it in my face because I got the other ones early. And then Anthony's had this obelisk for months. So Anthony Ruiz and Joe Vaughn. So thank you so much to all of my patrons. Whether you're any tier in which I say your name at the end of every video or not, really truly do appreciate your above and beyond support. But yeah, super cool. Super excited to get all of this reset. I don't know if I'll be able to get to that for next week or if it's going to be the week of thanksgiving that i get it done because next wednesday i got summons for jury duty which i did jury duty like two and a half years ago like it's not it's not it's not horrible like i go sit there and i have my free snacks and they pay me like 20 bucks but like it's kind of weird it's like so wednesday is like the worst day the worst day of the week for me to go so whatever but yeah so i don't know my schedule's kind of busy so i don't know if i'll get it done like at the end of this week but i want to i want to do that soon so that way i can enjoy the atmosphere the holiday vibes but yeah anyways i like i said i have nothing i have no real content left to give you i'm just rambling so let me get out of this video thank you so much for watching everybody i really hope that you enjoyed it and as always i hope that you'll join me next time as we unearth some more treasures here on ali's treasure trove Bye.